miss your vibe, I miss your waistline. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Makeup by Sunrise. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? Make sure you click that red button down below to subscribe so you know what's going on with me always. Today I'm going to show you guys what are my top five products in order to get a quick beat. Like if you want full glam, medium glam, or just like a simple look, these are your top five products that you will need to execute this look. So let's get started. Okay, first things first in any makeup routine or anytime you're going to put on makeup, make sure that you have a clean base. So what that means, make sure that you cleanse, exfoliate, moisturize your skin so that it looks real smooth and real nice so that when you apply your makeup, there's no impurities or you just know no textured looking parts of your makeup. So I'm going to go into the Tatcha, the Liquid Silk Canvas Primer and that's what I'm going to use first. So usually it has, it has this little pump, and what I usually do is just put a pump here, here, on my nose, and right here. Those five spots, because these are the areas where my pores usually show a lot. So I'm just gonna use this to, you know, blend it out. My fingers, usually I have like a little um, paintbrush that I use, but today I just chose to use my fingers. Because I do have to clean those brushes. So this is what we're going to do. So it's going to look like a white cast at first. But it will dissolve eventually. Right? So now that you added your primer. And also if you need to add primer in any else other areas. Like your forehead, your chin. Which is basically the T-zone area um, for primer. Those areas where you get oily. Then you can add this as well. And this primer is really, really good because it makes your foundation just stick right onto it. Next, you want to pick up your foundation. I like to use the Fenty Beauty Longwear Hydrating Foundation because today I want to do more of a sheer look where I use more of my skin and less of the foundation. However, this foundation is very, very nice. You can build it up to a medium coverage or full coverage, just depending on what your look is going to be for the day. So I'm going to use my small metal palette here from the Denisa Myricks Beauty to just put a few pumps of foundation. Recently I've been using this foundation and what I usually do is pump out two and then go from there. If I need to add a third pump then I will, but just like this, one, like two good pumps, right? So with that being said, I'm going to use my fingers again. And now what I'm going to do is just dot the areas where I want the coverage at. So usually around the bottom parts of my face, right above the lip, the nose area. So what I like to do is start on the bottom first and then build my way up to my forward, forehead and the sides of my face with the foundation. All right, and then you want to take a damp beauty sponge. Okay, I might have to pull this back up a little bit so I can see the hairline. Because sometimes I know myself, I just be going and then I realize I forgot to pull this up. Okay. Alrighty. So we're just going to do this along the bottom real lightly so that the makeup is staying on your face and it's not going into the sponge like you're getting more of the makeup payoff on your skin than the sponge is and you want to carry up to the air let me take this out carry your makeup up to your ear underneath your chin Okay, so, so far, this is where two pumps 
of the Fenty Longwear Hydrating Foundation goes. There's still some little small areas along the bottom here that I want to fill out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add like a third pump, but a little, little size so that not that much of the foundation comes out because then this area right here, I feel needs more coverage here around my lip, obviously right here and then my forehead I put a little bit on my forehead because I don't need a lot and my hair is blonde so I want to make sure that I don't have a bunch of product on my hairline itself Now that we have our even foundation, you want to use concealer. I'm going to use the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape in Rich Honey. This is the little mini size. And what I'm going to do is just basically put concealer in all my highlighted areas. So what I like to do first, I do the under eye area. So you see where my little bags are at. I put there first because then I want the concealer under my eye to sit a little bit longer. And then what I make sure I do, I drag it out here, but then flick it on the end. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just like this. And then use the wing. So right. So that we have an elevated eye, so we're, everything is going upward. You don't ever want your makeup to look like it's coming down. Everything must be going up, just like with your cheekbones. So now I'm also going to go down the bridge of my nose. Forehead, for highlight. I'm gonna do a little bit on the chin, just like that, not that much. And then the Cupid's bow area, which is the upper lip. I let the concealer sit a bit. We're gonna start blending it out. I'm gonna start from my chin, then I'm gonna hit the forehead, and then I'm gonna do the upper lip and underneath the eye. Cause like I said, the eyes, I want them to leave the longest cause I want the concealer to sit there longer. Next, we're going to set the face. You can use any setting powder that you want. Usually, I bounce between the Laura Mercier or the Patrick Star one size um, setting powder. So, today I'm going to use the Laura Mercier. So, you already know what I usually do pour it out in the cap, swirl my brush around, tap off the excess, and then apply it underneath the eye. So, what I like to do is make sure that everything is blended underneath my eye, making sure that the concealer is not moving i mean with the shape tape it doesn't move so that's a good thing and then you want to make sure you get right up underneath the eye with light tapping motion because you want to spread the product evenly Thank you. 
And the fifth product is bronzer. I love using the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. And as you can see, I use the second chart in the middle for sculpt right here. So what I like to do is use this little brush here to contour the sides of my nose or bronze up the sides of my nose. And then I use this brush to do my cheekbones. Okay guys, so this is what your face should look like after you know you put some little sprinkle sprinkle, little razzle dazzle. If you want to have eyeliner and eyeshadow, you don't have to do that. You could just do a full clean deep face. I didn't really add too much after that. All I did was dust off the little bit of the setting powder that was on the bridge of my nose, add a little bit of highlight, and your setting spray. So that's it. It's all you really need those are my top five essential products for a beat face everything will be linked down below I hope to see you guys next time thank you so much for watching remember to like comment and subscribe and share this video with your friends and family and I will see you guys next time bye